So this is the Lenovo Yoga C940. There's actually two models of it, the 14 inch version and the 15 inch model that I have here. There's some differences, which I'll talk about in a second. But the big deal about this laptop is it's two in one configuration. Like you have the ability to open up the display and kind of rotate it in any position you want. And the cool thing is while you do that, this rotating speaker follows it. So you always have sound directly hitting you while you're watching content on your laptop. The other thing is the fact that Lenovo includes a built-in pen on the side of it. Like this is just a very convenient and handy feature to have. Now the difference this year is it's not spring loaded, which was on the previous version. So you kind of have to use your fingers to pry it out, but it's really not hard to do. Edges of the laptop are very sharp though. Like this is not a polished laptop, especially when you're typing for long periods of time. Some may find the deck of the keyboard to get a little bit uncomfortable because of these edges. Ports. It has enough, like you have the USB-A port, you have your Thunderbolt 3, and of course your audio jack, and then on the right hand side, you have another USB port. Now this is not a super light laptop. The 14 inch model is lighter, it's like under three pounds, but this is over four pounds. In fact, it's actually heavier than a MacBook Pro and heavier than the Lenovo's X1 Extreme. Now when I talk about heavy, I don't mean heavy in the sense that this is gonna be really cumbersome when you carry it every day. It's just heavier than some of the other competition at this price point. Upgradeability is kind of interesting because they do let you get inside. You do have access to the SSD, which is not one of their faster NVMe SSDs. Like it's still pretty good read and write speeds, but it's not as fast as some of the more expensive ultrabooks in this category. You do have a replaceable Wi-Fi card, but unfortunately they soldered on the RAM to the motherboard. So whatever spec you do decide to go with, just make sure you get as much RAM as possible because you can't upgrade it down the road. Now, thankfully it is in dual channel configuration, so that should help with performance. We do have a two fan, two heat pipe solution, and I'll talk about heat shortly, but so far it's pretty good. Battery size, 67 watt hours, and surprisingly I'm getting really good battery life, like nine hours and 15 minutes doing productivity which is really impressive for a laptop that has an H series processor. So this display is full HD, but there's also a 4K version available. Color accuracy is really good. Gamut is a little bit on the lower side, but good enough. Brightness is exceptional, like over 500 nits. This is beating out the MacBook Pro and the OLED version of the X1 Extreme. It's touch, so you can use your fingers, and there's a pen. The pen experience is good. It's not great, but it's good enough for someone who's like getting into drawing, someone who's starting off as an artist. It's also fantastic if you're a real estate agent. Like the latency is good enough. It's also just there. That's what I like about it. Like it's just inside. I don't have to worry about like bringing it with me. It's always in the laptop waiting for me when I actually need it. So just like the S940, they reversed the camera bump on top. So that means it gives you a little lid to open it up with one hand. Now webcam quality looks like this, so obviously nothing special, but I do like the fact that they included this think shutter on top. So you can physically turn off the webcam with a little switch, which is fantastic for privacy. Now, unfortunately there's no Windows Hello facial recognition, but you do have Windows Hello using the fingerprint scanner on the bottom. Performance is pretty good. Like this is a 9750H and when you pair that with a GTX 1650 Max-Q, you have a laptop that's capable to do most things. Like you're a content creator editing video, this is gonna be able to do it. You're a developer and you're compiling big sources of code, this is going to be able to handle it. Even if you're doing AutoCAD, this has the horsepower to handle it. Now I wanna help you tune this laptop to run even faster. So I'm gonna give you an example. I ran a Blender test and it takes exactly 40 minutes to complete it with intelligent mode on. Intelligent mode basically allows the laptop to run with the fans lower, it kind of thermal throttles the processor so it doesn't get too hot, and with that you get reduced performance. If you turn intelligent mode off and let it run in performance mode, I was able to complete the Blender test in 30 two minutes. Now, if you undervolt it on performance mode, you can complete the blender test in 29 minutes. So there's a lot of performance to be unleashed with this thing, depending how comfortable you are willing to let the CPU run. Now, if you plan on doing a little bit of gaming on this, it can handle it. I'm getting better results with the 1650 and the X1 Extreme, even though this bench is well, I'm just finding the frames per second to be a bit lower. Now, fan noise is really good too. Like it doesn't get really loud, like over 40 decibels, but it's not unbearable and it's not gonna drive you crazy. Like this is a pretty quiet laptop. Keyboard, it's okay. Like there's enough spacing. They were able to cram in a numpad 
which the key placement is good. Even the arrow keys are nice and thick for the left and right. You basically have everything you need. The travel distance is not the greatest. Like it's noticeable, but the keys just feel mushy. It's not like the tactile feel you get with the X1 Extreme or a ThinkPad. Touchpad, it's glass, it's accurate, but the clicking to it feels really cheap. I think they can improve the experience here in the next model. Now, as I said before, the speakers rotate. There's four of them in here. So no matter which position this laptop is in, you're gonna get good sound. Is it MacBook Pro 16 worthy? No, but it's better than most two-in-one laptops that are on the market. So the Yoga C940 15 inch, I think offers a lot of value for its price point. You're getting a two in one that feels premium. You're having exceptional battery life, like nine hours for an H series processor is really good. You have a pen built in, so it's there whenever you need it. Port selection is pretty good. The only complaints I have is that this could be a bit more refined, like smoother edges, slightly better touchpad, and I would have loved RAM that I could swap out down the road. Now, if you absolutely don't need a two in one and you can spend $50 more, Take a look at the X1 Extreme. This is $50 more and offers you a better keyboard, better cooling, better performance, better touchpad, and a lighter laptop. Anyways, that wraps up my review. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.